please close your eyes. And you might want to adjust your posture so that you're comfortable sitting. And just feel yourself sitting there in your seat. Take a few deep breaths. And just let gravity settle you in your seat. Then you can let your breath just come and go naturally. Become aware of this sensation of sitting. Feel the weight of your body. Feel the weight of your arms and shoulders. Feel your back and your legs against the seat. And just notice your body however it appears, whatever sensations you notice. Sensations of pressure or vibration or warmth, tension, aching, whatever arises. But try to feel this as closely as possible. Now gradually become aware of the sensation of breathing, wherever you happen to feel it, either at the tip of the nose or the rising and falling of your chest or the rising and falling of your abdomen. Just pay attention to the, the sensations associated with each inhalation and each exhalation. There's no need to control the breath, just let it come and go. See if you can feel the next inhalation from the moment it arises and just cover it until the moment it stops. And do the same with your exhalations. Listen to the sounds in the room. Just, just let your mind now be the open space in which sounds and sensations arise. Now, you don't need to make any heroic effort to focus. Just notice what you notice. Notice everything that you notice arises spontaneously. You don't have to move toward it. Just relax and notice the next sensation, the next sound. Now see if you can pay even closer attention. There's a layer of concepts here that you can get behind. If, for instance, feel, feel the sensations in your hands. If you really pay attention, you will see that you don't actually feel their shape. Okay, you have a mental image of your hands. But if you pay close attention, you will feel just the raw sensations of tingling, vibration, pressure. A much more diffuse cloud of sensation. So see if you can feel your hands closely enough to relinquish their shape. So too with the rest of your body. See if you can just let it dissolve into a cloud of sensation. Just be the space in which each new raw sensation arises. Feel the sensations of your face and head. 
Now you might feel that your consciousness is in your head or behind your face. Okay, but as a matter of experience, these are just more sensations arising in consciousness. Okay, the, the only evidence of your face and head is as sensation arising in consciousness at this moment. Notice what sort of mood you are in. If you feel restless or bored, take that constellation of energy itself as an object of consciousness. You feel these states of mind, however they appear in the body. If you're sleepy, notice that feeling, whether there's a pattern of sensation on your face, in the eyes. So sounds and sensations and feelings are, are just announcing this open space of consciousness. Now you, you may notice as you try to pay attention to raw sensation that thoughts continually intrude. You're, you're, you find yourself thinking without knowing that you were thinking. That the moment you notice that, the moment you notice a thought in the mind, Take that as an object of consciousness. Just watch it, if it's a visual image, or if there's language, and then come back to sensations and sounds. We're just gonna do this for a few more moments, so allow yourself to begin again, as though for the first time. Okay, to just feel the next breath. <clears throat> okay, so you, now you can open your eyes. Now, it's, it's easy to feel when you open your eyes that something has fundamentally changed. You know, a moment ago you seemed to be kind of in, in your head, focusing on your inner experience, but now you open your eyes and you're, you're out in the world again. Okay, but, but nothing has fundamentally changed. I mean, the, the world you see with your open eyes is in the same place you were with your eyes closed. It is, this is consciousness. Okay, I'm not saying the world isn't real, but as a matter of your experience, it's more accurate to say that, that I and everyone here are in your consciousness than that your consciousness is in this room. As a matter of experience. Okay, I, I am in your brain right now. Okay, everyone here is in your brain. But what, whatever you can possibly notice in your body, in your mind, in the world, has only one place to appear in your conscious experience. Now, I'm not saying this is all just a dream, but as a neurological matter, it is very much like a dream. It is a dream that is constrained by inputs from the external world. And the dreams we call dreams at night are, are dreams that are not constrained by the external world. And that's why you seem to be able to get away with everything. But your, your mind is all you have. Okay, it's all you've ever had. It's all you have to offer other people. Okay, and, th and this might sound callous to say when there, when there may be many other aspects of your life that seem in need of, of being addressed. When, you, when you're trying to, struggling to find a career or, or you're sick. But it's still true. I mean, if, if you're perpetually angry and depressed and confused and unloving, it doesn't matter how much success you have or who is in your life, you're not going to enjoy any of it. 